biggest grocery haul is at Aldi and Walmart. So let's dive right in. So starting with what I got at Aldi this week, um, I did get the Gala apples. Often I like to get the organic apples at Aldi because they're usually only about a dollar more a bag, sometimes even 50 cents depending on the week. But this week the Gala apples are on sale for $1.89. I believe it's a three pound bag here. And so I decided to just um, get the Gala apples. And then sweet potatoes, some frozen veggies, green beans, spinach. I like to try to get organic when I can because it's on the dirty dozen list. Then the broccoli, bananas, um, and some frozen blueberries. I love putting those in my kids' oatmeal in the morning. And um, my youngest is obsessed with them. So it's a little bit of a cheaper way to keep them on hand and use them. And then dried parsley, onion powder, black pepper, applesauce, zucchini, celery, lemons. I've been using lemons quite a bit here recently. I've been experiencing some adrenal fatigue and there are some different adrenal fatigue concoctions that I've been drinking. I can share with you a little bit more um, about that if you're interested in another video. Um, and then beef jerky, the butternut squash was on sale for 69 cents a pound. I love getting it when it's on sale and it lasts for a really long time. And then um, just stretching the budget. Normally I like to get the sprouted uh, bread, but this week, again, just on a tighter budget. So I got two loaves of the whole grain bread here for my kids and some ginger, some fresh ginger. I love being able to use it. Sometimes I get lazy and use the powdered ginger or you know the ground ginger, which is just fine, but I was in the mood for some fresh ginger. I love putting it in stir fries, love putting it in soups. It is so healthy for you. I'm gonna try um, just chunking it and putting it in, steeping it like in water to make like ginger tea. That way, um, ginger is just so healthy for you, anti-inflammatory and things. And then the blueberries were on sale this week, $1.99 each, and all of my kids just love them, so I got blueberries, and then I used the crushed tomatoes quite a bit, and I keep stocking up on the pumpkin at just 95 cents a, a, a can, and then some oats, and one of my recipes I'm using this week, I got some chicken, and then I'm using quite a bit of single serve freezer meals this week. And so I bought quite a bit of lettuce just to serve along the side of those meals, just something quick and healthy just to add to the meal. And then more olive oil. And I mean, olive oil has had a good reputation for years now, right? And um, just it's good for your gut. It's good anti-inflammatory, just good for so many things. Um, and then it can even help with headaches. A quick, easy, and cheap salad dressing that is clean, that is my go-to, is three parts olive oil, two parts balsamic vinegar, and a squirt or two of Dijon mustard. Mix it up and it lasts for quite a while. And again, budget friendly and gut friendly. So that's one way that I use this frequently. And now for Walmart, I got the almond milk, some more stevia, pure stevia, that's it, uh, here. Stevia leaf extract, and it's organic non-GMO. And then I need to make more of my um, gluten-free flour blend. And these are two of the flours that I use for that. Um, so I got some ground flaxseed and coconut flour. I may make a video soon on how I make or what I put in my gluten-free flour blend. Um, and if you're super tight on a budget, just make, mixing these two half and half is another good option. And then I got some frozen cauliflower, okra. Again, I don't really like the taste or texture of okra, but it is so good for you, so I find ways to hide it in things um, pretty good, even brownies. And that is it for this week. When I was meal prepping, I do like to just take one or two days and do a lot of the cooking. That way it's just easier as the week goes on and things are busy. Um, I was looking ahead and realized that we were gonna be gone quite a bit. So I decided to increase um, the recipe, whatever it is I was making. And then I froze extras and I froze them kind of in individual 
um, meals just that I could pull out easily for one meal. So that's what these are. And then, um, like I showed you in my haul, I'm just gonna be adding salads to them. Now, this also, in addition to this, I might make like a pot of pasta um, for my kids that'll last a few days, something quick and easy. And then I do also have some soup that is left over. I made some a lot of soup last week. I lo personally love soup, so I might also be having that for some of my meals. And these aren't like picture perfect, like some of the um, videos on meal prepping, but they're the containers I have, and um, it's what works for our family. I love it when I can freeze them in the glass because then I can just pop them out and stick them in the microwave. Um, but it's not too inconvenient just to be able to pop those in as uh, one of those containers as well. So that's all for this. I wanted to show you this super simple, delicious breakfast that I like to make. I'll make a batch and it'll last for the week. This is my chia seed pudding. And basically you just mix milk and chia seeds and a little bit of sweetener to taste. And then it thickens up like a pudding. Within 10 minutes or so, it'll really, it'll start to thicken but then you really wanna wait until overnight. There's usually a recipe on the chia seed bag as far as the ratios. Oftentimes when I cook, I don't use recipes. I just kind of eyeball things. And then I love putting um, berries on top. Usually it's frozen berries, whatever I have on hand. There's raspberries in here. And then I like to put something crunchy on top. So this is toasted coconut and pumpkin seeds. Super delicious, easy to grab in the morning for a breakfast, ready to go. Um, chia seeds are a great source of protein and healthy fats. And that's all.